What's the story behind Selwood Forest and the start of Froom? There aren't that many archives or documents about really the early history. All we know is tiny little details that there were bandits living in the forest. Selwood Forest was this huge, vast forest stretching in all directions across Somerset, Wiltshire. A forest made of oak and willow, all kinds of wild creatures living there. What we might think of as wild people also living there. But really the, the main kind of documentary evidence about Selwood Forest starts in the 7th century when St Aldham, who's our uh, patron saint of Froome, built a church in the middle of the forest. Incredible, why would he have done that? Why choose that particular spot? I spent some time looking at the stories brought also my imagination as a poet and a writer into the mix. Selwood Forest was also used for hunting by the Anglo-Saxon nobles, the, the King of Wessex. So I thought there must be some relationship between the King of Wessex and Aldham. And in fact, uh, I found that the, there was probably some kind of kinship. Maybe there were second cousins. The King of Wessex would have given Aldham some material financial support in establishing the church. But I think that there were ulterior motives for the king in setting up this church. There were these wild people living in the forest. Maybe they stole from the nobles who came through the forest, also poached the deer that the nobles wanted to hunt themselves. I thought maybe the king had this motive that he wanted to get rid of these wild people living in the forest and sort of civilize them and get them to live in proper Anglo-Saxon houses and pay taxes, so that maybe the church was a way of starting to do that. I'm sure that wasn't Aldham's motive, I'm sure he was really a holy man and he wanted to spread the word of Christianity. So yeah, the story is, is really all about all those threads kind of woven together.